All right, so now it's time to um, work with uh, AWS Lambda. And so I've prepared a function for you here in this uh, fold, uh, folder called function. And the idea is we have this form here and when we submit it, it's gonna go to API Gateway and then trigger this Lambda function, all right? And those uh, that data will be inputted uh, into this function here. So it gets passed in uh, through event and then it, it parses event body, which will give us the return JSON of uh, these fields here. Then we're going to use validate, which is a um, it's a third party library that we use uh, to do validations. OK, so if I just open up uh, the constraints uh, uh, file here, this uses this actually validates all these fields. And so whether um, the input is uh, valid or not, it's going to either return an error to this form saying, hey, you have uh, some mistakes. If it is successful, then what it's going to do. All right. It's going to uh, call this. Um, success function and then it will call insert record and send email so these two things are in uh, two separate uh, files here so one is for DynamoDB and one is for SNS so when we say insert record we're saying we're going to insert a record into the DynamoDB table that we created and then for um, SNS we're going to send that email off all right so this is a, a slightly complex Lambda function, but the reason uh, I didn't just make this one single file, which could have been very easy, is because I want you to uh, learn at the bare minimum of, of a more complex Lambda function, such as having to upload it via a zip and dealing with dependencies, all right? So now that our, um, our we have a little walk through there, let's actually get this Lambda function uh, into the actual uh, AWS platform, all right? So um, before we can actually um, upload this to AWS, we have to make sure that we uh, compile our dependencies. Now I could easily do this locally, but just in case you don't have the exact same environment as myself, um, I'm gonna actually uh, show you how to do this via Cloud9, all right? So what I want you to do is we're just gonna close that tab here. And I want you to uh, close these other ones here and just leave one open. And we're gonna make our way over to Cloud9. Okay, and so uh, just before we create this environment, can you double check to make sure that you are in the correct uh, region? So I seem to sit on the border of US East, uh, North Virginia and Ohio, and sometimes it likes to flip me to the wrong region. So I'm gonna switch it to North Virginia. This is super important because when we create our, our Lambda functions, if they're not in the same region, we're gonna have a bunch of problems, all right? So just make sure that's North Virginia and go ahead and create your environment, okay? And uh, I'm gonna name this uh, based off our domain name. So I should have probably left that tab open there. So I'm just gonna open up Route 53 there, okay? And I'm just going to uh, copy uh, the domain name here. Okay, and I'm gonna name it Ferengi Alliance, all right? And we're gonna go to a next step. And we are going to uh, choose T2 Micro because it's the smallest instance. We're going to use Amazon Linux because it's packed with a bunch of uh, languages pre-installed for us. Uh, Cloud9 environments do shut off after 30 minutes, so um, you won't be uh, wasting your free credits. Since it is a T2 Micro, it is free tier eligible. And the cost of using Cloud9 is just the cost of running the, cloud, the actual EC2 instance underneath to run the environment. So we're going to hit next uh, step here. We're going to create the environment here. And uh, now it will only take a few minutes um, and I will see you back shortly here. Oh, so now we are in cloud nine and I'm just going to uh, change the theme to a dark because it's easier on my eyes. I'm also going to change the mode to Vim. You can leave it as default. Vim is a complex keyboard setup, so you may not want to uh, do that. And uh, now what we can do is we can uh, upload our code into cloud nine so that we can install the dependencies for the specific Node.js version we are going to need. So I want you to go to File, and we're going to uh, go to Upload Local Files. And then on my desktop here, I have the contact form. It's probably a good idea we grab both the web and function. The web contains the actual static website, and we will have to make adjustments to that code. So we are just uh, prepping ourselves for a future step there. And so now uh, that code is uploaded, okay? So what we're looking to do is we want to install um, the dependencies, okay? Because there um, we need to uh, also bundle in whatever dependencies within this function so for it to work. And in order to know what to install with, we need to know what version of Node.js we're going to be using. And the only way we're gonna know is by um, creating our own Lambda function, all right? So what I want you to do is just use this other tab here that I have open, and I'm gonna go to the Lambda, um, the Lambda interface here, and we are going to go ahead and create our first function.